All right, so here we are heading back. Gonna get back over there tonight around seven o'clock probably. Set camp up, and uh, I got four and a half days to get find a buck. Here we are. My day one of my solo adventure. I uh, got the pack frame because I'm packing in some trail cameras. Putting little apple scent out with them. Okay, so good news. <clears throat> I found a really nice buck track. That's that buck track wasn't there. That was pretty fresh, like yesterday. So, my spirits are up a little bit. This is, uh, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully this wind, it just keeps going this way and then it goes that way. But it also looks like I got some weather moving in. So, I'm gonna kind of continue on with my hunt and probably have to go back to camp to put, uh, put some tarps up. Okay, so I made it through those meadows. I didn't kick anything up, but uh, there is a huge, huge moo bull, moo cow bull that uh, we've seen twice now in these meadows. He's behind some trees. I couldn't get him on camera, but he's huge. So hopefully he doesn't smell this apple stuff on my back and come after me. Uh, God, he's big. <laughs> Big boy. The whole time this morning, the wind was at my back, coming up. Now, every like literally every way I turn, the wind turns. Literally at my back, nonstop. All right, just left the truck for round number two. <laughs> so good news. Bad news. Good news is I had a good lunch. Bad news, I guess it'd be good news too, is there's five other guys that are hunting this um, closed area. They're still waiting for one guy to come out. And they're all pushing in from the top. So hopefully he doesn't mess with my cameras. I did tell them that I had cameras in here. I'd appreciate it if they didn't mess with them. Um, can't judge a book by its cover. They all seem like decent people, but I don't know. I told them I was gonna be in here for the next three days. And, uh, you know, I kinda told them what my hunt was. I just do a, a big loop in here. So, switched packs, and I switched rifles. It's the old Dirty 30. Kind of a unicorn for me is to shoot a buck with that iron sight on my dad's 30-30. So, any of any of you don't know, when I say my dad, I mean my my stepfather raised me since I was four years old. He died when I was 24. He was 44. Cancer, so kind of a soft spot for me. Because me and him were pretty much like best friends. It sucks not having him around anymore. But it's been 13 years. It still feels like yesterday sometimes. So this was his 30-30. My biological father and me have nothing to do with each other. Uh, my choice. He's a dirtbag, sleazeball, con man. And uh, he's had his opportunities to be a father and he's, it's only when it benefits him will he actually try to step in and be a father. Um, so that's where it goes. My, my, so I ever refer to my dad, for any of you guys watching, my dad is, is my stepdad, a guy who raised me since I was four years old. 
best man I ever knew in my life. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, he was taken way too soon. So, anyways, that's uh, that's a little explanation there. Don't really know if I need to go into that, but it is. When I kill animals, sometimes I get a little emotional still because that's why. Because my dad's not there. So, if you ever wonder why I'm tearing up after I kill an animal, that's most likely why. So, yeah, I finally found some deer. Looks like two does and three fawns. Anyways, they're right up in there. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch. See if anything else comes out. Got more elk right down here below me. Right in there. I know they're in here. They're, the wind is just horrible. Every way that I walk, the wind blows. <coughs> <coughs> and then I've got that. It's crap in my lungs. So, and it doesn't matter which way I walk. If I start walking up the hill behind me, the wind will start blowing up the hill behind me. And I think that I think there's plenty of animals in here. I just think they're winning me 100 plus yards ahead of me and just walking out and trotting off and not jumping to where I can't hear them. <clears throat> if I can get the wind right, then I would be jumping the animals. Thing I don't seem to have a problem fighting squirrels and elk. Three does it came up to 50 yards. Eventually, I've got to run into one with horns. Day two, just got done checking the uh, first camera, nothing on it. It's kind of a shocker, but uh, it is what it is, so this wind is so frustrating, it will not steady up mornings, evenings, anything. I cannot get a steady wind, and I think everything is just flat out winding me before I even see it. So goals today are to see more than nine deer and uh, see less elk. Hopefully today's the day. This is probably probably the hardest hunt I've ever been on in terms of finding bucks. We've uh, went from rain to snow flurries and now to sunshine. I met one deer so far today for almost six miles, one deer. But I strive for that next deer. That next deer could be the one. That's literally what keeps my feet moving is what's around that corner. You never know. It's like 12, 30, 1 o'clock about now. Obviously I haven't seen a damn thing. I'm getting hungry. Pretty discouraged about this area. Here we go. We're gonna do a bike ride. It's day two. Did eight and a half miles this morning, only seen one deer. Got about 45 minutes till dark. And I'm way back in here still. I'm talking like, Eight miles or so to go. I have such a long way to go. About 15 minutes of light left. So, about an hour and a half left on the ride out. Figure out what I want to do tomorrow. I have very full trail cameras. I gotta go to town. Make a food run. Ran out of lunch meat. That's about it for tonight. 
hopefully tomorrow's better.